I ain't my typical happy-go-lucky self today. Let me give y'all a little rundown of what I got going on here. So yesterday I went to install those spark plugs in uh, that 5.3 that I'm putting in that dually, right? They all go in just fine. I get to that number one spark plug hole, spark plug falls in. I said, ain't no way this is about to happen to me. I'm like, man, I'm about to have to pull his head off. I'm about to have to do, get a new head, something crazy. Upon further research, I found this tool right here. If you can't read it, it's part number 25647. Found that at AutoZone, VatoZone, whatever you want to call it. A little backstory about this engine, right? When I went and yobbed that bar from Pull Apart, number eight spark plug was out the hole. I didn't think nothing of it, right? I just assumed that somebody pulled the spark plug, was checking compression, or just needed a spark plug. I don't know. Well, come to find out, they ain't got no threads in the hole. It's now number one because whenever I did this little rebuild, reseal, whatever you want to call it, slid the cam in, I swapped the heads. So number eight is now number one. And actually, that worked out in my favor, right? Because now I, I could just get straight to cylinder one and fool with this spark plug hole. So let me show y'all what I got. All right, so that's what comes in that little kit I was uh, showing y'all about. Comes with the tap. Comes with a short boy, medium boy, and a long boy tread insert right and it comes with this setting tool you see that tape on there because this tool repairs both the taper seat and gasket plug no drilling required fancy i know let's go ahead and take a look at what i got going on over here on the engine side also i'm gonna be using that long boy Get the most tread engagement. Medium bar, I'm gonna have tread hanging out. This is my current situation. See how them threads are pulled out? And if you ain't familiar with the build, it's an 84 C30 dually I'm putting together. Fire three swap. Gotta have it done for power too. So what I just did there was made sure that the piston was on the downstroke so that both valves were closed and made sure that it was far enough down that the, the tap wasn't gonna hit anything. Cause some shavings will probably get in there but I'm gonna try to vacuum it, blow it out, put a little grease on the tap. We're gonna see what we can do. But it's really soft aluminum so I don't think in the long run it's gonna hurt anything to be honest. Went ahead and put a little grease on my tap. We're gonna go ahead and run that tool slowly but surely. Applying, applying very light pressure. That's what we got right now. Gotta make sure you're holding it perfectly square with that hole. All right, I just felt it engaged, so it sounds like I'm, I'm starting to make new threads. Look at all those shavings. That grease kept it on that tap. If I wouldn't have put that grease, that all would be inside the cylinder. Now I'm sure they do have some in there, but I think we'll be all right. Get it out of there. All right, so after I clean that grease off, I went ahead and ran that tap back in there and I'm about to come back out with it. Fingers crossed. Hit 
go with that little back. Get them little shave of potatoes out of there. As you can see, that tap ate that aluminum's ass. All right, as you can see, I got the thread shirt on the new spark plug. Got a little red Loctite on it. But if you look closely, you can see they got some knurls on it. And that's with that setting tool. Once it's in place, it's gonna give it one little whack and it's gonna expand and make those narrows grab into the threads you just made. So it's pretty much a permanent repair. Don't let anybody fool you. That's that fresh new hole I just tapped. All right, let's go ahead and thread it in. And look how pretty that is. That thing's in there. And I'm gonna give it one little taste with that setting tool just to expand those nerves. And now you can install your spark plug like it never happened. Wee. All right, I'm gonna let that Loctite cure overnight. Come snug the spark plug in the morning. And that's a wrap, baby. I got a spark plug now. And if you like this video, give it a little like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Free country. But look, it take time to make this little juvenile. Holding that camera ain't easy. Peace.